Outdoor baseball now from the Anna. warehouse district and Target Yo. Field here in Anna. downtown Minneapolis. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and the Minnesota Twins. It's time for Twins baseball next. Play ball. So digging in now, number 78. First hurt. shot for him here as he field. comes in currently leading number the junior circuit in hitting. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Skied in the air right, to straight halfway, away. Left. Halfway. Fletcher is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Look, Matt, everybody should be looking at the guy in the three spot. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. A couple of baseman. hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Reed. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Under it is the right fielder. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. A chance now from Target Field to take a look at the Twins lineup in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Matty, they have to be very pleased with A.J. Reed right now. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands, always seems to turn in a good at bat, and he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. So striding in, Rod Jansen. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Rod. Russell Jensen. leads off first with one away. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Waiting on it, the right fielder. And he brings it in on the warning track. That was textbook outfield technique right there. So take notes, kids. He knew right where he was, and he does a great job of feeling for the wall while keeping his eyes on the ball. That's how you do it, and he makes the catch. Ready for number another chance? Roderick Doyle. He singled Roderick. his last time up. Doyle. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder has a beat on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. It's quite possible the humidity has finally taken its toll on some of the fans. Into the box now, number 78. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Digging in to try it again. Number 78. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Okay, stand up, stand but that'll up, be up. off the wall in right center. And the runner will score from second. And a relay to the plate. And he will beat the tag safe at the plate. Yeah, when that left his back, I thought it was out of here for a three run shot. But to his credit, he didn't hesitate or break into that home run trot. He busted it out of the box and was thinking triple all the way. Well done. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Up Greg Lindsay. The first baseman. Greg Lindsay. 
Swing and a miss, and that's a much needed first out there. So a runner at third here with one gone. And up next, the exciting left handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Now Striding back. in, Miles Saunders. He's Miles. 0 for 1 thus far. Saunders. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Stepping in, Eddie Ramirez, and we'll five. see what he can do Definitely here. Two hitter. on, two away, two Eddie. home so far this Ramirez. inning. Got him Ramirez. swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and two left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox four, and the Twins nothing. Stepping into the box, Up Andreas Tejada, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Andrea Tejada. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Oh, and the throwback in is a wild one. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Trying to pick things up where we left now off. Back. Number 78, Number 78 batting from the right side with the southpaw on the mound. Now a snap throw to first, and he's back standing. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Fletcher racing back. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center. Home run number 44 on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Boy, when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box, I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him, especially with a pitch like this. But they do, and he makes them pay for their mistake. He's been doing this all year long. Malik Smith, the next to hit. For the twin. It doesn't look very the promising right so far in this one as Malik. we move into the later innings. Down yeah. by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Number 78 is there, and he'll bring this one in. Ready now, number 78. His line so far, two for four, but the hits are a home run and a triple. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline, so if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Fouled away. Line drive to center field. Jansen is there now, and he has it. Two gone.
The next twin up, Addison Russell. Addison. Two hits in two the trips for him thus far. Addison. Russell. One and two, here it comes. Hit the other way out toward right field. Three, Under three, it is three. the right fielder. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can coast to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. 6-0, the final shutout score today. The Boston Red Sox took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Cortez earns his team-leading 11th win. Doyle Kimbrough was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.